Hey guys, as you can see, I've got HomeSense in the background. I just did a little run to HomeSense just to have a browse really. I live nine minutes away from a HomeSense. Do you know how dangerous that is? Look at, I don't know if you can see the queue outside, but it is a bit crazy. So I am now heading back to the house. I'm absolutely starving and I will catch you guys there and I'll show you guys what I get and breathe right so i am back home now so nice saying i'm back home i'm back home <gasps> and i'm actually filming this video from the guest room which is also going to be my filming space so i mean this is the first video i'm filming in here so i thought i would quickly show you all um the items i bought from home bargains and home sense all of the homes. I am so, so impressed that I've got a home scent so close to the house. That is gonna be so, so dangerous. That is really gonna affect my pockets, guys, and I am being deadly serious. Anyways, so I'm gonna start with the items I picked up from home scent. So the first item I picked up, have a guess, guys. You already know, home scent equals candles. So I've got three new candles here to add to my collection. The first one is spiced cookies. And it smells amazing. I literally cannot wait to light this. This smells insane and I just love how pretty it is. I feel like candles need to aesthetically look nice in my eyes and they need to be a certain kind of color because I wouldn't want like a bright red candle in the house. So, yeah, I'm quite fussy when it comes to my candles and this is the packaging. There's only two of them left and um, I feel like it's a really nice autumn winter scent. I mean, spice cookies, you, you're literally not gonna go wrong at all for an autumn winter scent. The next, I, oh, by the way guys, that was $4.99. The next candle I picked up was Pecksniff's England, a limited edition for $5.99. When I saw this packaging, you already know your girl picked up this candle. And I just thought the name was quite funny, Pecksniff. So I picked it up and had a sniff. This one is Frosted Pine and Juniper. Frosted Pine and Juniper. Don't know if I'm saying that right. The cool pine scent is fortified by the light fruit spice of juniper berries to give the subtle fresh aroma. So again, really, really nice autumn winter scent and a really aesthetically pleasing candle. The next candle I picked up, I actually saw in the background of another YouTuber's video when they did a home scents tour. And when I saw it, I was so, so happy because I knew I wanted it. I didn't care what it smelled like, but I just wanted it for my coffee table. Voila! So this candle, I literally I saw it in the background of someone's video and I thought this is gonna look amazing lit on a coffee table. I'm also gonna dispose of this purple thing because I feel like it's so unnecessary. Um, so I'm gonna have it lit, maybe on like a coffee, a coffee tabletop book and just have that on the side. And I thought that would look so cute. Imagine like a bowl of pine nuts or pine cones, I should say. What can I say? This is just everything, everything and more you can ask for with a candle. The only thing I wish was it was an autumn scent, but it isn't. It's Sweet Pea and Feeny. Peony? Do you say peony or peony? I don't do um, pronunciations very well as you can tell. The next items I picked up were for Craig. So I got, I saw these boxes and thought these will look amazing in his office. So they are little storage boxes. So I picked up two of these boxes so he can stack them one on top of the other and it can go on his desk. You can see, so one's slightly bigger than the other. One was $9.99 and one was $7.99. I just thought they looked really manly. I'm loving the leather handle on them match with the kind of fabric storage box. It's not velvet. It does feel a bit more cotton-like than velvet. Um, and yeah, I just thought this was really, really nice purchase. And it's gonna look great in his office once his desk is sorted out. The next item I picked up was this marble bin. I'm gonna see what this looks like in the toilet downstairs. And if it goes, then I'll keep it. If not, I'll probably return it. 
Um, but I just thought very, very cute. The downstairs toilet's gonna have a bit of accents of black from the frames on the Desenio prints and then white. So I thought this will kind of fit in really nicely. So I will let you guys know. And this was 9 99 Also, just to let you know, if you absolutely hate when it's loud, this one is like a soft close. <sighs> not loud and not annoying. The next item I picked up is this glass, to um, not toilet brush, <laughs> to toothbrush holder. Um, and it's glass, so it's actually really, really heavy. It's by Hotel Malfour, and I just thought it would be really cute in our own suite. Um, I did also get a matching hand pump, so we can literally just have them next to each other. Um, and again, this is glass. But yeah, love a bit of organization, and I hate when toothbrushes are just out because we've both got like the electric toothbrush. So I can literally put one in there, put one in here, toothpaste in there, and this is also so easy to clean. That is what I realized I needed in my life. It's something easy to clean because, and I'm so glad it's white because tooth, um, toothpaste stains, we all know that. The last one we had was black and it was so, so annoying to clean. So I'm so glad we got a white one. I'm so glad it's glass. Um, and what I might actually be able to do is chuck this in the dishwasher. Um, I think it might be okay. Even if it just goes on a rinse. So this was 9.99 and yeah, let you know how we get on with that. The hand pump was 3 99 so you really can't go wrong with something like this. So the next item I picked up from HomeSense is this paper towel holder and I thought it was really, really cute purely because of the marble base and it is so heavy so you can tell the quality is really good. Um, not much to say about this apart from it's going to be in the kitchen and it's going to be out on the tabletop so I wanted it to look aesthetically pleasing and also fit in with our decor so the marble slab kind of looks really nice because we've got one downstairs that we're going to use as a kind of a chopping board um like a, a non aggressive chopping board I should say and this was 9.99 but yeah really cute and the company is called Umbra so the last item I picked up in HomeSense is a dishwasher rack and it comes with three separate pieces so this tray at the bottom actually comes out and this also comes out this was also 9.99 everything seems to be 9.99 um, and yeah, really, I, I just thought it fit in really nicely. I like um, the silver and black because, you know, you just can't go wrong. Silver with a bit of black, like keeping it safe. And I mean, I need not explain what this does or try and glamorize it because it really is just a dish drying rack. So I'm going to quickly fly through the items I picked up in Home Bargains. The first item was dustpan and brush because we just really needed a dustpan and brush we don't have any any kind of cleaning utensils here yet so we still need to get like a broom we've actually got a steam mop um and that was from my bnm haul so we've got this now um i went down the christmas aisle i know where it's only the start of october and i picked up four of these feathered ornaments from the Christmas Isle and I thought they were so cute and they are only 89p so I mean I need not explain why I got those uh, I actually went to Home Bargains the other day and picked up some other bits as well more Christmas decorations and some huge candles but because I didn't purchase them today I didn't bother adding it to the haul I'm also not 100% sure where it is right now but I did pick up some more Christmas decorations and some more autumn what they were Christmassy candles last item guys hand soap because we have all of these dispensers now around the house so I want to make sure we always have hand soap to keep it filled I like this hand soap not only was it on offer and I get 66% free but it is also moisturizing because my hands dry out like prunes every single time I wash my hands I don't know whether it's because of coronavirus and uh, the washing hand thing is just sucking up every bit of natural oils or anything from my hands. That is the last item in today's haul. I mean, this is such an unexpected haul. I did not expect this at all. This was not planned. 
and I think the plan now is for us to head back we honestly haven't done much apart from get rid of all the empty boxes um, unpack a few other bits but nothing major we need some big items now we need um, our sofa for example we need our bed we need some of the big stuff to come in and that's all gonna happen tomorrow because my mum and stepdad have it all on a trailer at the farm this sounds really bizarre but we actually filmed a house tour of our old house so if you guys really want to see a tour of our old house so the house we sold before we moved here then let me know because if you guys want to see it i will edit it and have it up for you so you can kind of see like where we lived before i lived there for like 15 15 10 to 15 years you know i just realized i forgot something off the hall i picked up in home bargains this like you know the organizational kind of um let me run and grab it I'm so sorry, I can't believe I forgot that. And I was not about to go down the route of explaining because this is actually quicker. But I feel like Home Bargains is known for this and this was the whole reason I went to Home Bargain because I want to start upping my organizational game. So I picked up these lock storage and I'm gonna fill like one with rice, one with pasta. I'm gonna be that girl. I'm gonna get the labels that say rice and pasta because why would I not want a transparent storage box to do its job? But yeah, I'm gonna try and find somewhere on Etsy where I can get some nice labels, label them up, have a nice organized pantry or cupboard. And yeah, so I picked up just two of the small ones and one of the big ones because I just wanted to test the sizes with our space. So that is it. Good morning, guys. I am absolutely shattered. I was supposed to be up two hours earlier um, because I wanted to get started on things in the house today. Today was our last night, my mum. So we're hoping to actually be able to sleep in the house today so we need to get our bed sorted. It's another really, really rainy day and it's so, so annoying um, because when I go over to the house, it's just going to be me and I actually wanted to open the patio door so I can like kind of spill some stuff out. Last night, we all, so me, my brother, my mom, my stepdad, his girlfriend, we all went to the house and unloaded the trailer which had all of our sofa, our bed, um, deconstructed bed and basically our whole life and left it in the living room of the house and I kid you not the anxiety I had looking at that room so I said to myself I'm gonna come I'm gonna go wake up early and just kind of start sorting things most a lot of things just need to go from downstairs to upstairs but some things are too heavy I really don't know what my Fitbit in is and it's driving me crazy because I've done so many steps and lift so many things the past couple of days and I would like to see that reflected on my Fitbit. So the time is half nine. I'm gonna aim to get out of bed now, leave around 10, 10, 15, grab a coffee and head over to the house. I literally cannot wait for you to see the living room. If you don't get anxiety looking at the living room's current state, uh, you're actually a psychopath so that is my plan but i really wish you can see outside it's pissing ah. so guys this is what the house currently looks like hold on to your seats because you're going to need to i cannot wait for the after here we go so when you come through the front door we've got all those boxes there and our whole life practically in this one room um the kitchen's like filled okay it's not actually as bad as it looked yesterday um yeah that's our mattress for our super king size bed that is our sofa um our sofa is humongous um so we might even have to like get some 
more of a smaller so far um but we'll cross that bridge when we get there i absolutely love this sofa so i really hope we don't have to but seeing the way it's kind of there 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 and there and how much space is taken up there's a strong chance we may have to get a smaller sofa for this space anyway um the story about the sofa is very funny though so if you guys want to know about the story about the sofa just pop a comment in the comments box um yeah so there is barely anywhere to walk and this is our downstairs toilet right now boxes of shoes and yeah i hope no one needs to go to the toilet anytime too soon we have also already scuffed the walls from getting some mirrored furniture upstairs um, and I'm dreading getting the chest of drawers upstairs as well without damaging the walls and without breaking the mirror. So mirrored furniture is great to look at but getting it to the room is a nightmare. So I had to get some wall filler because we already scratched the walls and some carpet cleaner because we already got mud all over the grey carpet. So yeah, not off to the best start but we move. So I am gonna start running things upstairs in the right rooms and hopefully get some kind of space and order back. So it's been around two weeks now since we last spoke and obviously the room behind me was an absolute tip. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. Obviously it's looking like a hundred times better now and it's starting to really turn into the home that we want it to look like so everything's still not a hundred percent complete like there's still lampshades rugs and bits bits and bobs that just make a house a home so bear that in mind it still looks a bit cold and a little bit unfinished so i feel like those extra items will really tie the whole room together i'll quickly show you guys the corridor update and in their update but i won't give you guys further updates on like the rooms and stuff until we do the final home furnished tour which we obviously want to keep a surprise and show you guys all the finished rooms where possible so i'll show you guys now where we've got up to in the past two weeks so when you come through the front door uh, we still haven't found a rug for here but we have accumulated tons of trainers and we still don't have our lampshade but we have got this gorgeous side console table from my furniture and we kind of just paired it so we've got loads of um, new home cards so you can't really see it too well but we've got um, the Tom Ford tabletop book which I got from Amazon um, a few lanterns on the side. There's actually a small one hidden behind. And we've got a lovely candle of an Ikea kind of Beauty and the Beast style cover. A lovely orchid that was gifted to us after we moved in. And this huge round mirror. So I don't know if you guys remembered, this was in my vision board having this massive this is probably one of the only mirrors in the house right now as well. There's no full length mirror, which drives me absolutely insane. But the mirror is so, such good quality and it's from Denelm and I think I paid roughly 55 pounds for it. It was sold out for ages. So if you're interested in this mirror, then 100% head over to Denelm website now because they fly out. Um, so this side table comes with two drawers. So we've literally just got like our keys and stuff in there and some face masks and another one there. And then the other lantern I put underneath there. I would like to get like one of those baskets for underneath the console table. Um, I feel like that will look really cute and cozy and I'd like to have like little blankets and stuff perhaps in there. Um, but yeah, that is the corridor now. So final pieces to the puzzle would be a nice little runner rug for the floor. Um, a lampshade, I think uh, like a nice black kind of almost wired lampshade I think will look nice there. Something to match the lanterns. Um, but I don't know. Obviously the lanterns I can easily change out. Um, and then on the windowsill I got this gorgeous pampas 
bouquet from Pampas and Bloom and it has like accents of white in there with the spear. This was the white company frame that we got gifted and I just haven't put a photo of us in there as yet. So that is the corridor update. Um, hope you guys like, let me know what you think. So I will take you guys through to the kitchen. You guys remember we had everything kind of crammed in this kitchen, even our chest of drawers were in here. We have now got a fully functioning kitchen, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I will just pan around so you guys can see. Um, it's obviously very clean and tidy because we don't actually cook that much um, and I did get my little dream tea point uh, we've run out paper towels on there um, so this is a little not tea point sorry our coffee point um, because I'm actually obsessed with Tassimo coffees as you can see and I haven't had one today as yet so I'll be having a Tassimo coffee very soon I'm so obsessed with these Breville kettle and toast i feel like they fit so so nicely um then we've got our food waste box in the corner so when you move in you have to order all the bins and they give you this lovely little caddy which thank god is great and um, we have got our huge automatic electric bin as well as two little drawers at the bottom that we can put bottles and any recyclables um, I did mention we were going to reuse these bar stools even though it's technically not a breakfast bar um, and it's really annoying because the legs are brass but they go really well with the floor so I'm thinking of doing like two nice placements here with the placemats that are currently on the table but I will but I will get into that in a second so this guys is the kitchen we got this gorgeous vodka kind of artwork, mirrored artwork from a random store in Colchester. I can't remember what it was called, but it was literally the last one. And it was one of those stores where like, it was all glam interiors. Everything was mirrored and it was literally calling my name. So we ended up buying that one. I think it was roughly 150 pounds. And yeah, I just think it looks so, so nice over the kitchen sink because it gives it a bit of, I just love mirrors because they make everything look kind of bigger than it is so yeah so when i do the full house tour obviously i'll go into all like the organizational bits that i arranged uh, earlier on in this video so you can see a bit of it there that is the kitchen update again we still need to get a runner for the floor there i don't know if they're particular runners for kitchens but if they are please let me know uh also need to get a lampshade for up there and dining room up a date all my laptops and everything sometimes i work from here so we got these chairs um, that i showed you guys in the previous vlog and yes they did manage to email me to let me know about fixing the chair leg that was a bit wobbly um so these chairs are from my furniture the tables from a furniture store i believe um and yeah so it's so nice that we actually have a place now to have our dinner even though we've only used it once I, I honestly use it more for working hence all that the laptops and stuff um abs absolutely love these chairs they go so so well with the table i'm currently trying to find a black runner to go across so i can like reuse these um placemats for what they're actually intended for um in my earlier hauls you would have seen these candle holders which are from b m and this vase of flowers uh, the white roses is from tides home furniture in brentwood i believe so like i said earlier i would like to put these in front of the bar stools and have like a cute little placement for both even though they probably won't be used um this corner is just like a little dumping corner for things that need to be found a home we're actually thinking of putting this mirrored clock just above the dining table there but um, I'm just a bit unsure because the mirrored clock is actually brass and mirror or a bit of like a bronzy color so I'm not sure how well it will tie in so that is the 
dining area in a nutshell. One exciting thing we managed to pull together yesterday was this mini bar, which I'm so obsessed with. How cute is this mini bar? We got it from a website called Mano Mano, I believe. And it's literally exactly what we were looking for because I just find drinks trolleys just a bit like dangerous if you've got kids around not that we ever have kids around but the thought of something on wheels with glass on it kind of just freaks me out um initially i wanted this to kind of face that way so we can put like a nice print on the wall but now it's had to go in front of the radiator because our sofa which i'll get into next as i mentioned in our earlier vlog is humongous so here is our sofa which takes up so so much space however it's starting to grow on me and I'm kind of liking it. Um, even though I was adamant for ages and I even found another sofa that I want to get, but it's currently out of stock and I'm, my name is currently on the waiting list for them to email me when it's back in stock. And I'm kind of torn because I don't know whether to downsize the sofa or not. Um, like it does now look very, very cozy, the sofa, but I don't like that the back of the sofa you see when you walk in. Um, so but this sofa like this is probably one of the most comfiest sofas i've ever sat on on my life so the thought of downsizing it kind of freaks me out um so that is our sofa again i love to sit in this corner and work or watch youtube videos this side also reclines and the sofa is pretty much about eight months old it's really really new um and we literally bought it shortly before we found out we were gonna look at new homes. Um, so I've literally just got some wool blankets kind of just thrown over. Um, that's a fair one over there, it's not straight, so apologies if you have OCD on that stuff. Um, and yeah, it would be great to know what you guys think about the sofa. It's great for when guests come, but ideally I would want a sofa that stops literally there and not curve around, because it will open up this space so, so, so much. But would love to know your thoughts so let me know what you guys think obviously i've kind of climatized to it now and i actually kind of like it um but thinking long term i'm not sure how suitable it would be especially because i didn't expect it to be so close to the dining table um next we have our gorgeous coffee table which i have decored myself you might remember these items especially this one from the last video um i've just got a bit of a hurricane vase kind of clear and black look and mirrored these are from the, um the range i've got like a hundred of them around the house and again previous vlogs um ikea this was gifted to us from the developers this was from b&m absolutely love how like sleek and cute that looks because it looks really expensive and it smells amazing this one is the scent blackberry and bay we then have the tabletop books which again are from amazon are in my haul and this rug is so unreal we actually got this rug from denelm and we got it last week i literally saw it online and we got it the same day it was so soft so i think this is one of those rugs that we may need to change seasonally because it's like giving me very winter vibes so here is the living room kind of view i just love how cozy it is um and for the first time in ages it's not raining which is fab um we have got a blind set up now you can see there the ones that kind of um fall vertically um they are so so amazing they're from blinds to go we literally just sent them the measurements and they were able to custom make it for us and they're such a great company so i would definitely recommend um yeah so that is this room that is actually for our bedroom but we have not moved it since literally the first day we got the keys which is really annoying me because that one is empty so that Oh, I've got someone at the door. So I've actually got a Amazon delivery, which I believe is light bulbs. Nothing exciting there. Never felt so much like an adult these past few weeks because of the, the deliveries that I've been getting. Um, yeah, I've got 
light bulbs because I accidentally bought a ton of light bulbs and they were daylight and they're not like cozy at all. They literally look like I've got ring lights around the room. So I had to buy a bunch of uh, warm light bulbs to go in the lampshades, which I've forgotten to show you guys. I have purchased this amazing lamp shelf in the corner. Um, so I picked that one up from Wayfair and it actually lights up at the top and I just thought it was great that it's also a shelf. I've never seen anything like that before. So yeah, was really impressed with that. It was really easy to build. I literally built it in between meetings at work. And yeah, that is the update guys. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It has been a bit of a mashup of so many different things. So I hope you enjoyed. I feel like the debate right now is still on the neon sign. I've absolutely loved reading your comments on whether or not the neon sign would look good in that room or just some people have just said a flat out no to the neon sign, um, which I find really funny. But I feel like like I say to my husband, you won't see the vision till you actually see it. Um, so we'll see. I'm kind of now 50-50. Uh, sometimes I just get these like random ideas and for about a week I really want to do something and then once that week's gone, it's not on the front of my mind anymore. Like for ages I wanted to put mirror tiles all around the kitchen, which I'm so glad I did not bother doing. Um, yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed the little house update. Obviously look out for the furnished tour, which will hopefully be in the next few months once we've finished everything, because I want it to be like completed furnished house tour. Um, and I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello to all my new subscribers. Hope you're all doing well. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.